you have a strained relationship already. COVID's not your friend. If parenting isn't already hard enough, many are wondering how to successfully co-parent during the COVID-19 crisis when everybody is being told to stay home. Family law attorney Miles Mason says the first rule is always think of the child first. The overall goal of the parents should obviously be keep the children safe. The guidelines to help parents during the COVID crisis can differ from state to state, but there's one thing they have in common. Many of the states who have issued COVID-19 family law guidelines have said very clearly do not change the parenting plan. A custody agreement and family law can become complicated and emotional. For example, if one parent feels the other could put a child at risk if they leave home to be with a parent who has a high-risk job. Most judges are going to agree and say there is no reason to put this child at risk for the next 30 days, so let's just let the child go with the non-doctor, the non-nurse parent, the non um EMS uh, ambulance driver pair. Mason says parents should not deviate from a court order and instead negotiate. If you do have to negotiate some sort of change or alternate arrangement, make sure you get something for it if you're losing time, namely makeup time. And then finally, uh, follow the plan if you can't work out a compromise. From a health standpoint, pediatricians say parents have to use common sense. It is important to think about children, uh, especially their well-being, their health, their resiliency. Dr. Jason Yon, an associate doctor of pediatrics at UT Health Science Center and general pediatrician at Labonner, says parents should talk and ask questions. Who might be uh, in the best position to create that structure and schedule or that school time that a child needs? Um, you know, is there a parent that is leaving the house and going into high risk situations every day um, that, you know, might be better for a child to avoid that situation for the time being? Are there any older caregivers or someone else in the home that might be high risk? Co-parenting, it's a new balancing act for many parents and their children because of COVID-19. And one that Miles Mason says can have a simple solution. Number one, negotiate. Keep an open dialogue, be honest, be nice. Play nice. Play nice with others. Alex Coleman, WREG-TV, News Channel 3.